To you nurse at Regional One didn't hesitate to jump into action to start life-saving measures on a 10-month-old baby while off the clock. Brooke Moody has been a nurse for less than a year, but as WREG's Mike Siriani reports, she acted quickly to make a difference until help arrived. Well, I never actually saw the wreck, but the 18 wheeler in front of me swerved, and I went to swerve too because there was a bunch of glass in the road. Tuesday, Regional One ICU nurse Brooke Moody was headed to work after shopping at the West Memphis Walmart when a crash occurred on this section of I-40 near the Hernando de Soto Bridge. Moody says she saw people inside a damaged car and instinctively stopped to help. And the girl just starts yelling, he's turning purple, and she was trying to get a baby out of the back seat. So I jerked the door open. Moody says she told the woman she's a nurse and went into life-saving mode. So I pulled the baby out of the car seat and um, his mouth was purple. So I knew he wasn't breathing. So I started doing CPR on the, the baby. Moody says she got the baby's mom to breathe into the child's mouth while Moody continued chest compressions. As Moody worked, West Memphis firefighters were dispatched along with two emergency units from CEMS Ambulance Service. I had two unresponsive children and an unknown number of other patients involved. Hudson Hallam is owner of CEMS and says when his crews got on the scene, he was impressed Moody was still rendering aid alongside his staff. And the nurse that was on the scene that helped start CPR had gone as far as to even get in the back of the ambulance and continue to assist our crews in working on the child. As for Moody, nothing compared to the 10-month-old finally breathing on his own. And that's something that I've never experienced before, so, um, yeah, I definitely think that it would be a different situation if I didn't decide to stop and help. In Crittenden County, Arkansas, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Way to go, Nurse Moody. Now, we're told a two-year-old had already been taken to Le Bonner, and the mother of the 10-month-old suffered a broken arm. We have reached out to Arkansas State Police for more details. <laughs>